do hygiene. They will ask you again while you are doing hygiene to test if you are really doing that hygiene. If it, it become your habit, means even if someone is asking you, yeah. you are doing multitasking, doing and answering another question. Okay, just remember that. For the PPA, just just like I said yesterday, they will ask you how to put on PPA. So first, the, the initial answer on the staff, put the gown. So first is the hygiene. Okay, remember the five moments of the hand hygiene. They will ask you what are the tools used to measure compliance. So the tools is you are using the observation tool of WHO measuring the five moments of hand hygiene. So five moments before touching the patient, before clean or aseptic procedure, not before clean or aseptic technique. So procedure, huh? before clean or aseptic procedure, after body fluid exposure risk, after touching the patient, after touching the patient's surroundings. Then for the PPE, contact precaution, just remember, gown and gloves. Gown and gloves. Even if you will just enter to the patient room, you will not touch anything to the patient, you will just talk to the patient, you will not touch the patient, you will wear gown and gloves for contact precaution. Unless you will do another procedure. Okay? For droplet only, surgical mask or face mask. Without, so, gloves? without gloves. Uh -huh. That is for but, droplet. But gum, no, it, no, no, no. Only, only surgical mask. Droplet infection. Droplet precaution. If the patient is droplet yeah. precaution only. Yeah. If yeah. you will just talk to the patient. But if you will do procedure, you will touch the patient, that time you will use the gloves. Yeah. The, the gloves. It, but only mask for the uh, droplet precaution. For urban precaution only, respirator. So N95 mask. So. If you will just enter the patient, and 95 mask only. Okay? If you will do procedure that time, you can do, you can wear the gown and the gloves. Okay? Just remember. But, uh, you remember, in every room in Pedjawar or Niku, there is sometimes poster the droplet and contact. So, meaning before you enter, the, if there is two precautions, contact is gown and uh, gloves. For that is face mask. So, before you enter, if there are no precautions, you need to wear those uh, PPE, like gown and there are combination. Okay, just remember that one. And did I say yesterday that influx of infectious disease? Yes. Yeah, yeah for this, for the, if there is an influx, uh, we will do we will do only cohorting of patients, meaning uh, putting uh, like more than two patients, more than one patient in same room. What is influx, Muhammad? Influx, uh, more than. Uh, the usual influx of the patient. No, no. What, yeah. is, what is influx? Yeah, influx. Influx is the corona massage. No, no, no. Yeah, I will say. Influx is uh, increased cases, more than uh, 10 cases per hour. 10 cases per hour. Uh, that is the one we define. Uh, we define uh, influx means increased cases of same uh, suspected, same suspected, suspected, yeah, suspected uh, disease. Uh, disease. <laughs> example, example uh, in the ER, uh, there are coming like 10 cases of more or more uh, history of travel with uh, COVID-19. So example, this patient, there is from, from China, from then there are 10 cases, same has history of travel and has signed the same one. So that's already an influx. Not that, that we're not influx. Not influx. 10 cases or more. 10 or more cases. Yeah. Of the same, of the same, of the same. Two Farahat and one. Yes, I want to say. Farahat, yesterday, oh. Dr. Dr. Mm -hmm. Muhammad Farahat, he said if more than one case, for the COVID. consider it for COVID. Ah, uh, for COVID, Kalas. Yeah, this is for, for yeah. COVID. For other, yeah, for, for other, other diseases. Yes. Airborne diseases, 10 cases or more. Okay. Okay? Then what else? Uh, we will do only cohorting during influx. Huh? Cohorting means combining in one room. Uh, same same microorganisms. But during like there is no influx, we will put the patient in a negative pressure room. If negative pressure room is not available, we will put in a single room with HEPA filter. Okay? No cohorting. He HEPA filter is a uh, it's like a, it's a portable machine. You will put in the room to filter the air. So the meaning of HEPA, HEPA in the HEPA filter, HEPA, H is high, E efficiency, P particulate, and A is air. So maybe they will ask you what is what HEPA in HEPA filter stands for. So high efficiency, particulate, air. So for the N95 mask, uh, fit test, it is 
uh, done initially and every two years. Okay, just remember because they will ask you, you have a 95 fit test? So you will say, yes, I have a 95 fit test. Then they will ask you how frequently you you yeah, you change the 95 So every two years or if there is a marked change on your weight, okay? Like there, you lose weight, gain weight, like that. And for, what is this? If you have beard, yeah, you will use PAPR, Powered Air Purifying Respirator, okay? But if in case you have any type of test, but you have beard, you will use PAPR, okay? But to be safe, because usually you will be the last, shave, all that, shave, okay? If you have any type test, shave, okay? So that is the one. Also, for the local antibiogram, was the doctor they will ask. For the local antibiogram, uh, six every six months, okay? Every six months. So, mm -hmm. you will get that one every six months. The local antibiogram. You will see the medicine sensitivity and the microorganisms and the resistance. So, okay? And also, uh, in tax, um, for the sharp injury, so you know already yes. have what to do? So there is mucocutaneous injury and there is a uh, sharp injury. So the difference between the process is only the first aid. For the mucocutaneous means there's splashes on your eyes or your, any mucus in your mouth. Um, uh, 10 minutes running water. So 10 minutes and stop. If you have contact lens, remove the contact lens, then running water 10 minutes. Then after that for needle stick injury, wash your hand with sabon and water. Alcohol. Then after washing, wipe with alcohol, then cover. Then after that one's informed so, superior, yeah, do incident report. Then print the incident report one for infection control, one for preventive medicine, then stop health. Then go to stop health. Okay? If it uh, happens beyond office hours, go to A and E. Okay, but still you need to go to stop health for follow-up. Okay, mm -hmm. just remember that one. So the one um in the OR also, I will just remind, if there is a uh, suspected um, TB patient or the uh, patient with TB for operation in OR, uh, if elective procedure need to, um, this is like cancel, if elective not to do the procedure, the surgery, if the patient is positive for TB and for operation. So if it's emergency, that time the operation should be last case of the day. Okay, just remember this. The video will ask you. Okay? So some of you are doing, uh, going to the OR. So that is the answer. So if elective surgery, cancel the procedure until the sign of symptoms or the disease resolve. If not, and cannot be preventive, uh, should be, uh, what is this? Uh, yeah. And also I just remind, uh, for contact, for precautions like contact, airborne, droplet, you should write in the doctor's order should be because they will ask for the virus. Okay? So what else? And you should be familiarized with the visual triaging. You know already. So now they updated uh, they updated the list of the country. So there's a lot of the uh, country. So you will see in the past I did not know the visual triage but it's in doctor. So visual triaging there's risk number one Risk number two, risk number three, risk number four. Risk number one is to have travel to um, like China, like that, uh, France, Italy. So there's history of travel, you will go to down. Risk number one, there's uh, the fever, you will pass. So risk of travel, uh, history of travel is score number five. Then directly you will go down, fever plus. So if they score six or more, directly to isolation. Isolation. Isolation room. Okay? But if the patient has history of travel, is still direct to isolation room. The rationale for maximal precaution. Okay? So they will ask you why you put in isolation room. The score is only five, not six or more. So the rationale to provide maximal precaution since the, since the patient is in has history of travel. Yeah. And there's, after the screening for COVID, there is risk number two, three, four talks about. So this uh, is a visual trash making in the airport or here? They are doing that one now. In the airport? Yeah. Yes, the the two uh, one paper two triaging for COVID and MERS COVID. So any one came from any country will be, become in isolation in the airport. Uh, uh, no, score if six. There is only score, score six. Travel, so that's six was called. That is the uh, maximum protection. Can yes. be five. 
Uh, number one, history of travel to specific countries. It's stated in the triangle. Once there's history of travel in that country, like China, example, China, Egypt. directly, yeah, Egypt, directly, yeah, Egypt also. Also. and this is a consultation, in country with reported cases. consultation with the doctor. Oh, yeah. Direct to isolation. Then the doctor will check it, and according to their judgment, it's either they will discharge for home isolation or they will admit. Isolation 14 days. Yes, home isolation. Home isolation. Yes, so some depends on the judgment. So here in our hospital, we have case two days ago. He started to to Kuwait. So I think Dr. Farhat went here in the ER, then discussed, then they did home isolation for the patient. And the patient came back again this morning, early this morning, and has signed as a dose, then admitted. Admitted? Now in isolation. isolation. Airborne or uh, Airborne. negative pressure? Airborne, negative pressure room. Negative yeah. pressure. Yeah. And just for negative pressure room, maybe they will ask you, what is the pressure for negative pressure room? So negative 2.5 or less. Negative 2.5. Because you have negative pressure room, yes. Negative 2.5. Yes, what is that? Millibar or millimeter? Pascal. Yes. Negative 2.5 pascal. Yes. So you will see the monitor, you can check the negative pressure. So what, maybe they will ask you, what if it is not working, the negative pressure, the monitor? So there is another way. You will get a tissue, you will just put on the door and it, it should be sucked by the... Oh. Yeah, that is the one, huh? So how to check the negative pressure. Okay? So just remember that one. So usually the doctor they will ask the hand hygiene because in the hand hygiene compliance. Okay. What is the compliance in the for the in compliance, each department? In each department, it's in posted in their bullet. I do not memorize. <laughs> so it's in the posted in the bulletin board. So you can see that one in the nursing. For the January we have already. For the February, inshallah if we finish we will post it. But for January we have already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because each one should know what is the percentage. Yeah, it's in the bulletin board. So once on Sunday, so check the bulletin board. So, we'll so remember the powered air purifying respirator. If you have beer, powered air purifying respirator. Order of moving the. Ah, for the sequence, like I said, hand hygiene first, then gown, uh, mask, goggles, gloves. Gown, mask, goggles, gloves. Gloves for re for removing gloves, goggles, gown, and mask. For the N95 mask, you have negative pressure room, so you will remove all except the mask. So uh, gloves, goggles, gown inside the patient room. Then you will go out in the ante room. You will move remove the mask. Okay, just remember for removing the for removing. After removing the gloves, do hand hygiene. But if the one uh, wearing glasses can re uh, wear the goggles? Yes. Wearing glasses can wear the goggles? If you are uh, wearing glasses, you can, it's okay. For the, but yes. uh, you will need to clean your glasses. Okay? For alcohol wipes. Okay. In the area, there is no alcohol. And the contact time is one minute. Meaning one minute you wipe, then wait for one minute before you put on uh, goggles. Either eyeglasses. Can summarize it? The all. Can all summarize. All. <laughs> <laughs> yes, summarize. This is a summary. This is a summary. We are doing our team around. We do observe us. Say we are in the room. There is any precaution. Yeah, written. This is contact or something. Yeah, yeah. What I should do? We should all the time. This is gloves. When we enter the division room, yeah, and we are doing our round. Okay, say this is a room, case of room. Shall we go with our usual routine, gloves and inside the room? Should we dress the gloves before we go? Yeah, like I said, if uh, if the patient is contact and droplet. If you will just go to the patient's routine, like you just do the rounds. Uh -huh. So there's a precaution. Before you enter, you should put on TP. If it's contact, down and gloves. Unless you will do procedure. 
if nothing, mm-hmm. if nothing for all patients, for all patients, with, 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 with precaution, routine patient, no infection, yes, for routine patient, for routine patient, no, for routine patient, for routine patient, like standard precaution, standard precaution, you apply to patient, regardless of their diagnosis, so you will apply standard precaution only if you will do procedure, so example, I will go to the patient, I'm not wearing any PPE, no, the patient has no infection. Mm-hmm. Uh, like no, like no precaution. Actually, should precaution. No precaution. Right? No location, then, like for uh, myself, diabetic patient. Yeah, diabetic patient. Uh, he is uh, apart from diabetes. Otherwise, yeah. he's not infectious. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. So, so what to do when I go in his room? What I should? When you go to the no, uh, you need to do hand hygiene, hand hygiene. before what? touching the patient. What? And if you will touch the patient, there's no open wound. No need to do. No need to put on gloves. Uh-huh. I think yeah. we put gloves but if if there if, is if yeah. there is uh, uh, open, open, if yeah. there is a wound, open wound or contamination or there is there are some precautions yes. where yes. the, the, the gloves the gloves yes or you are doing procedure mm-hmm. yeah procedure that is yes. the one if the patient is yeah. protein patient. protein patient there is no mm-hmm. isolation precaution you will enter without mm-hmm. anything without any PPE yes then, hand washing yeah. yeah hand washing hand if hygiene. you will touch the patient mm-hmm. hand hygiene or uh, hand washing or oh, hand wrap. So, so hand hygiene. Yes, touch my stethoscope. For the stethoscope, mm. you need Clean. to, after examining the patient, you need to wipe with alcohol. Clean it. <laughs> Clean it. Every patient use. So, I check the patient, wipe with alcohol, then go to other patients. So, one minute is the contact time. Mm-hmm. They will ask you that for sure. <laughs> contact time. Yeah, they will ask you. Contact okay. time. Contact time means uh, you wipe, then you will wait for one well, week before using. That is the contact time. Ah, before yeah. using. The interval between using. I, I, I. So that is. So for the thin patient, no PPE, unless there is procedure you that need to do. Should for scope before touching the patient and after or just before? Uh, before one. touching the patient. And after. I, 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 after touch- touching PC. after touching the patient, in the first in the I first morning. round I you should clean first. Huh? Then, after each uh, patient. After each patient. Ah, going to clean. Clean. So before rouse, before the first round, clean, mm-hmm. then touch the patient, then after uh, after each patient you need to clean. Mm-hmm. Okay. Where do we look for the sign of uh, isolation? Uh, in the door. door. In the door. Yeah, on the door. If before not, you enter. So if it, you is see it, in the in the door. Door. it is not in the door. If it is not in the door. It should be in the door. Like because it's written either in the door or in the curtain. Ah, if multi bedded, yeah. Oh, sorry, I forget. If multi bedded, like in the middle ward or in the other areas, like single room, but there are four, four patients. patients or two patients. So yes. it's in the curtain, I level. Okay? Yes. So As the you, I yes, I level. So before you go and go inside the patient room, you should check the curtain. Okay, if there is any precaution, that is for the multi bedded. But for single room, in the on the door, okay. Yes, sir. Sharp box. So for the sharp box, yeah. should be three for full, or when other eyes. Right. To change when to change the sharp box. So three, three should be three for full three or with other eyes. Okay, when other eyes. So that time they will change the shark box. So there is no expiration date for the shark box. Only when it's three for full or uh, when order arise. Also for a sterile instrument sending for CSSD. So you are handling, uh, you are doing procedure like aseptic procedure in the wards, no? When using a sterile instrument. So if there is, they will ask you what is the expiration date for a sterile instrument. So you will answer there is no expiration date. We are using even to type event related so it means event related means if if the package of the sterilization is still intact there is no breakage there is no moisture so it's still it's still uh, good for use okay so that is the for instance any change of the color any change of the color also okay changes example the wrap is blue right yes so if there is a discoloration it's considered a sterile so you need Breakage, tears, moisture, or wet, and there's change of color. So, in between yeah. examining the non infectious patient, Sandra, and in between, 
hand washing or hand washing. Hand hygiene. Either hand washing or alcohol. Hand washing is fiction, but fiction is not the fiction. Hand washing. Or we can put it up before seeing any patient. Hand hygiene. I will just for the hand washing. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> for the between the difference between hand washing and hand rub, uh, depends on the microorganism. So, the one will come is Americans for the GCI. So, if the patient is has gastrointestinal like diarrhea and there is a postpartum leaky cell, mm. should be hand washing. Hand washing. If okay? you consider, if you consider uh, yeah. under any circumstances, hand any washing. Any gastrointestinal gas. No alcohol. Or gastro. Gas. Or gastro hand washing. Or okay? yeah. <laughs> Hand washing. Okay. But others, it's okay for alcohol hand rub. Okay. But for gastrointestinal disease, uh, it should be hand washing. Because it is resistant to alcohol. Yes. Yeah. Alcohol cannot. Uh, so that is the one. That is the most important. How, how many times you can rub with alcohol sanitization? How many times? For the alcohol. Then we'll go for hand washing. For hand washing, once your hand is, sti is sticky. Sticky, yes. Uh, this or is three, five soil, times. Mm -hmm. And you handle patient with gastrointestinal symptoms, mm. you hand need wash. to do the hand washing. Okay? Yes. Especially if the patient has gastrointestinal <coughs> So that is the difference for hand washing. And once you use the toilet, anything. But they will ask specifically if there is gastrointestinal like diarrhea, what you will do with hand hygiene. So, and they will ask you, uh, they will ask you, like, they will not specifically ask you what you will do if you have patients with gastrointestinal. They will observe you. Then they will ask you why you are doing hand washing. Then you will think because gastrointestinal. gastrointestinal. All gastrointestinal. Might be suspect for a costly job, so they be said, and you will do hand washing. So that is the one. Okay, just remember. And remember the HEPA filter because that is the one they ask. So HEPA filter, HEPA, uh, meaning HEPA, meaning high efficiency particulate air. Okay. Uh, where did it test? The? We, we did last year. But we did, uh, we did the ID? Test. Yeah. Nice. You don't have the ID. No, I didn't. But yeah. if it is that, yeah. I did it. Yeah, last I did it. Or the ID. The ID. Yes, yes. If you have the the fit test, but you don't have the ID, just I will get your name and I will make the ID. For the one without fit test, we will do the fit test today. But we need a schedule, so you will we will have the rounds. So should be before the test. Thirty minutes before the test, you will not eat anything, drink anything. You need to shave. <laughs> <laughs> if you refuse to shave, you will sign. <laughs> <laughs> you will sign. So at what time? At what time? Expect you. Today. So one o'clock. One o'clock for a test. One o'clock for fit test. Don't you? We're not doing the fit test at at one o'clock. One o'clock. Ah, one o'clock p.m. It will take how long? It will take how long? It will take how long? Yes. How long will it take this fit test? Uh, for the fit test, it's seven uh, minutes. minutes. Seven minutes. Or, yeah, it's not exercises. So, seven minutes the test, but we have this called sweet test. Preparation. So, we sweet test to, to determine how many pumps of sugar, like saccharide, we will give you. So, after the sweet test, we will uh, wait for uh, 20 to 30, 15 to 20 minutes, then we will do the fit test. I will check the names last year. Yes, I will check. You have you the, I think you have the list. Yes. You have the list, huh? Yes, I have the list. But if so, give us the cards now. But I need to know who have, you do not have the card. So I can check. Yeah. Okay. Check. But you need the fit test, huh? To those who did the fit test without a card, just tell me the name. And I will any any who, who received the card, who is having the card? Who is having the card? I did, I did. We yeah. did the test oh, result. The other thing, the other thing, you, you should you should put your uh, yes. Yeah, and the, the card with you. So if you have the fit test but you don't have the card, yes. Uh, just give me the name and I will make the. Card. Okay, okay, good. It's okay. Finish already? Or? <laughs> Last? Okay. Then for the super fit test, just, uh, just come to our office at 1 o'clock. Okay. Should be, you should not be anything. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my dear.